Hey guys, Jarek here. Don't have another review, but I have a different type of video. This is going to be good news for people looking to get some airsoft stuff for cheap. I have a lot of stuff just sort of laying around my house that I never really use. I'm not really a collector myself. I don't like to have stuff that I don't use just kind of sitting there trying to look pretty. Um, if I have airsoft gear, I want to use it. Uh, so I decided I'm going to sell a lot of the airsoft stuff I had just sort of laying around my house. Don't worry, I'm not getting out of airsoft. I'm still... I still have my XMA, I still have the grenade launcher, I still have all my gear that I'd use to go airsofting, and I'm still going to be airsofting at least once a month, so good news about that, I'll still be uploading videos, airsoft skirmishes and all that. Uh, but I want to get rid of all this stuff I have here, so let's just go ahead and start with some of the bigger ones. Let's go ahead and start with the KWA Glock 18, and this is actually mine that I've had for years and years. Back when the Glock 18s first came out, uh, this is one of the first batch. And this thing works perfectly fine, but it doesn't have a recoil spring or a recoil spring guide. That's really all you need to replace. Other than that, this thing works perfect on semi and full auto. Uh, so if you want to get one of these, look in the video information down below, which one thing i got to say about that real quick. I'm selling these using Amazon Storefront, and Amazon Storefront is really weird at the way it allows you to sell stuff. Basically, you have to do almost a parent post where you find someone else's listing on Amazon, and then there's a button that says sell yours here, and you click on that, and basically it recreates their post, but underneath your store name and with your price. So if some of these down below, like if it says KWA Glock 18, and the link will link you to something that's not the KWA Glock 18, don't worry. It is still the KWA Glock 18 you're going to be buying, and you'll be able to tell by the price. This thing, um, I'm, gonna, I'm still trying to decide on the price for this. Probably going to sell this for around $100, so if you're interested in that, look at the links down below, click more information, and there will be a whole list linking you directly to where you can buy it. Again, as I've stated, it may look like it's the incorrect posting, but it is actually the correct posting. It's just Amazon as a weird way of selling stuff. The next thing I'm going to be looking at selling is my KSC MP9. This has literally just kind of been sitting there. I've only used this for the videos. So you practically have a brand new KSC MP9. I still have the original box and everything. I'm going to be selling this for the uh, upper 100s, which is the original price for this KSC MP9 is uh, $230. That's the original price, which is a lot of money. The KWA MP9 is $220, so I'm probably going to be selling this around uh, $180, let's just say. You can find extra mags in the United States. I think Evike still has them at the moment, uh, but the KWA ones won't work inside this. Either way, still a good SMG if you want a good gas blow like MP9. The, uh, the orange paint is water-based, so it'll rub off if you try hard enough. So yeah, if you're looking at an MP9 for cheap and you don't have money to got, buy a KWA or a full-priced KSC, uh, go ahead and look at this one. still has all the trademarks from a, a MP9, Ruger and Puppet, still the original trademarks of the actual company. So if you're looking, looking for a good collector's MP9 or one just for out on the field, this works great. And it's right here. I'm gonna be trying to sell my uh, Maruzen P99 because it has some trigger problems. Chances are if you want a P99, you're gonna be replacing all that anyway. Uh, I'm only gonna be selling it for around $100 compared to the, I think it was like $230 price range. It's somewhere around $200 originally. So. If you want this, the price may change. Click on the links below to see if the prices have changed. If you want it, it comes with a suppressor, flashlight, and original box and everything, so go check that out. Again, links are all down below directly to where you can buy it. I'm going to be selling a lot of S Thunder stuff because I have S Thunder stuff laying around everywhere. They're really good products, and I want to see them out on the field, but I don't really have any use for them myself. I've already made videos of them. I have an S Thunder grenade launcher I use on my X-Mate myself. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be selling a few of these. These things sell for $60, which is a lot of money. I'm going to be bumping that price down to $40, and these are pretty much brand new uh, that I haven't... This one I've only used in one video. The other ones I haven't really even used. So, again, these are like $20 off if you want them. I have two... These are all the grenade launchers I got. They're plastic, but they work perfectly fine. And they take any 40 millimeter grenade, so... If you're looking to get S Thunder stuff at the price detoured you or detoured, that's a hard thing to say. If the price kept you away from it, uh, go ahead and look at these, $20 off. I'm selling a toy foam ball grenade, which you can really shoot anything out of. Again, the price was $60 on this, uh, so it's kind of expensive. I'm going to be bumping that down $20 to $40. So, if you're looking for one of these cool things, again, link below. While we're on the topic of grenade launchers, I have an ICS M203. You need to find two screws so you can mount it on there, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. Gonna be selling this as well. Just standard M203, nothing special about it. Metal frame plastic tube. 
works fine. I originally had this on my XMA, but I never really used it because it just makes the XMA very front heavy. Uh, but if you have an M4 or some other carbine where you want this, go ahead and look at it. I have a KWA clone USP that works great, except the trigger itself is a uh, kind of broken. So yeah, just so you can see what happened, uh, trigger snapped. If you get a new trigger, like I said, it's a KWA clone, so it shouldn't be hard to find. If you get a new trigger, this thing will work perfectly fine. I'm going to be selling this thing for really cheap, probably around 25 bucks. So if you want to look into this, uh, go ahead and look down below. And full trademarks. Very, very shiny, very cool, very nice looking. I have a 6.03 Matrix Type or It's 407 millimeters long. The original price is $30, but I lowered the price for this to $20. This has never been used and is brand new and then just has been sitting uh, in my back room in the case for over a year now. So still new, perfectly fine. If you want it, go ahead and look at it. I have a KWA USP match mag laying around. This will work with the NS2 USPs perfectly fine. It'll be sticking out of the bottom of them a little bit, so basically you have an extended mag. Uh, but this is a USP match mag. I've had this laying around for a long time because when I originally got the USP match, which by the way, that thing doesn't sell very well. I've only sold one of them. And um, I had two mags for it, which they only bought the gun, didn't buy an extra mag, so this has just been sitting here. Oh, and FYI, I still have all the boxes for the S Thunder stuff. I have all the original boxes for all this. I have a decent amount of S-Thunder landmines. Here's a water landmine. Here's a powder landmine. These all retail for $60. I'm going to lower that price down to $40, so $20 off for these. I have the smaller ones as well, which uh, actually end up selling more online than the larger ones, which is a little weird. Uh, these are going to be $40 as well. Both of them can use water. And uh, these things, I really want to see these sell, because at my last game, well, the game before the last game I went to, we had a dedicated minefield that pretty much you had to walk through to get to certain locations. And uh, they work really well. They're hidden very well. If you know how to hide them, there's, you won't be able to see them in any way. If you step on them, barely put any pressure on them, they set off. The landmines got way more kills than any one of the game actually did. And it is, it's actually kind of scary when you're walking through the, man, the, uh, the minefield. That's the only way to get there. You know there are mines around, but you don't know where they are. And uh, the moment of when you step on them, it's just, oh crap. And it's also pretty funny when someone steps on it and he's like 20 feet away from you and the water almost gets you. And by the way, that's how most games work. If you step on a water landmine and you get water on you in any way, you're out. So I really want to see these go. These are really, really cool and actually very effective on the battlefield and are really fun to use. So go ahead and look into these. They're definitely worth it. They just use one CO2 capsule. I still have reviews of all of those on my on my channel, so go look those up. Actually, I have reviews of all this stuff on my channel, so if you're doubting it or you want to know more about it, look up the reviews, just do a search on my channel and you can find it. And I got one last thing I am selling. This has actually only been used in the demonstration. This is actually the same mag that I used in the demonstration. This is uh, one of the snail mags for the WE Luger. This solves a lot of the problems that the WE Luger stick mags had. It's a lot better on gas efficiency, and this one works perfectly fine. I, like I said, I used it in the uh, kind of overview, showing it off, and that's really the only time I actually use this. If you want to see that, just look up Luger Drum Mag or something like that. But if you have a WE Luger, your magazine's broken, you wouldn't want to get one of these. Uh, it's, I'm going to put it up there just to sell. This thing never sold, so if you want one of these things, go check it out. All right, I believe that's everything. If I've forgotten something, I'll also add it down to the video information. Uh, please check these things out. I want to see all these things go because a lot of them are really cool stuff that I'd like to see on the field, but I just never had any use for it, especially after making the videos. I'm not a collector, like I said. I don't like to have stuff laying around my house. When I make videos of something, I usually sell it off to someone else after I make the videos, with them knowing, of course, and uh, or I'll just give it away. I've given away a few things that just wouldn't sell because I didn't want them laying around my house anymore. Unless I use them, I, I don't really want them just laying around taking up space. So once again, for the millionth time, link down below to where you can buy all of these. Click more video information and uh, there you go. Go check those out. I'll see you guys when I make my next review.